Day after day, Allied forces are chipping away at the bulge. The process of erasing this bulge has fallen upon the U.S. 3rd Army in the south and the British 21st Army in the north. The salient formed by the Ardennes offensive has left the Germans rather exposed. Our mission for today is to escort a group of A-20 bombers. They will be hitting enemy depots to the east of us. There has been very little Luftwaffe activity in the past few days. I suspect this will be a routine flight. Bucket of Bolts 2 was started up by the mechanics and taxied out to the runway. Buddy Wolfpack here and welcome back to another exciting episode in the P-51D career we have going on. We are currently number two in position, so let's go ahead and uh, get all set up here. We are escorting a group of, I think they're A-20 bombers. I don't see them. I see, obviously, they're launching off flares, getting ready to take off, but I don't see our bombers up there. Oh, there's flares. Out there, they... Maybe they're over there somewhere? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I am number two in position, which is fantastic. I'm quite happy to be in number, the number two slot. I guess all my complaining about being dead last has finally gotten me somewhere. I'm gonna check everything. Yep. Bucket of Bolts 2 is looking mighty good, and uh, thanks Raptor for getting me a new skin with the little two down there. I really do appreciate it. it looks fantastic. All right, so we're just hanging out. Might as well make sure our mixture is in a good spot. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Off. All right, clear for takeoff. Taking off. Out. All right, it's taking off. Let's go ahead and begin throttling up. I still have no idea where our bomber friends are, but I'm sure we'll see them soon enough. All right, already nosing over. Doing yeah, fairly well here, rocketing down the runway. Alright, number one is airborne. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate. Gear up. Alright, perfect. So we are now airborne. Still have no eyes on our bombers. I mean, they should be very close. We were going to rendezvous with them over the airfield. Oh, there they are. Hello. Yeah, definitely A-20s. There's quite a few of them up there. It looks like they're shaking up their formation as we uh, get situated down here. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the map. It should be a fairly routine sortie. As you can see, we are taking off and heading to... That town right there, <laughs> that is uh, the target for our bombers. We'll be bombing a uh, warehouse or something over there. I don't know exactly what their target is. We'll find out though, whenever we see the little explosions on the ground. I don't expect too much action. I did have a sortie previously on January 14th. Uh, we covered Canadian ground troops, but nothing came of it. No enemies were spotted at all. I actually meant to keep that episode up, but uh, my commentary was not that great during it, quite frankly, so I just went ahead and uh, canned it. So here we are. We have 39 kills, Justin Hall here, and uh, once we hit 40, we will be, we'll have the same amount of kills as uh, Richard Bond currently has, so. All right, let's go ahead and overtake all these chumps and get into our rightful spot up there. Okay, so it looks like we're already turning on uh, an easternly course and heading on the target. I'll go ahead and uh, slot into formation here, although I don't know what the hell's going on. What is this? Well, in any case, I'll go ahead and uh, pull on up. How's it going, fellas? <laughs> I have to really slow down here. Avoid a collision, too. But uh, in any case, we'll go ahead and uh, continue to our mission objective. And I'll try to get into a somewhat reasonable formation here. Okay, we have enemies. They've just swarmed into the formation here. It's like uh, they're already targeting the bombers. Uh, there's a 109. Oh, it's a void. 
try to assess the situation. Six. Engaging fighter to the southwest. High. Range half mile out. So many P fifty ones, it's hard to make out who's um what's a Messer Schmidt. I think that's a one oh nine down there. Seven. Yep. Engaging fighter. I'm on him. Looks like so are our two other fellows. I want to uh, definitely avoid a collision though. Okay, it's opening up on the 109. Alright, coming in. I don't want to get too close to that guy and accidentally collide, especially with the friendly. Lots of Mustangs here. I don't think there's very many uh, ME 109s. Oh, something crashed. I'm pretty sure that was a, a German aircraft. Okay, it looks like uh, that guy broke off the 109. I'm going to go ahead and swoop in. Hopefully. Let's see, Manjaro gun sight is set up, right? Yeah, 33 feet. Perfect. Come here, fella. Let's go for kill number 40. Ruffman 4, engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about two miles out. Got a hit there. Don't know if it was anything critical. Honestly, it's not looking like it. Go, popped him. Clipped him again. Okay, apparently there's quite a few other fighters here. Man, I keep just hitting them in the wings. Let me get an engine hit here. Honestly, I think he'll go down here without much more help. But every time I seem to let an enemy go away, they uh, manage to make it home a okay. Better to be a tad bit ruthless. But he is leaking from every single orifice there. Honestly, my gunnery with the gyro gun side is uh, getting slightly worse. I have not used it in too long. Been flying a lot of World War One crates. I'm gonna blame it on that. Another few hits in the wing. It's hard to keep up this turn with them. <sighs> Got him. Okay, let's head back to the east. a chunk of his wing fluttering down to the surface. Okay. So we're going to head back towards the bombers. The bombers were over this way. I actually had visual on the uh, town. Let's see. Where is the town? Yep, there it is up there. 
Okay, right, we have a fight. The bombers are dropping their bombs. So the town is just right there. That is their target. There's lots of flak. See, there's a Mustang, and he is currently on the tail of, it looks like another BF-109. Go ahead and maneuver into the area. See if he'll get them. I also saw two parachutes fluttering down to the surface as well. Not sure what that was about. Brooklyn 2, engaging fighter to the southeast. Range half mile out. Alright, it's the 109. Fighter is close out. Brooklyn 3, engaging fighter is close out. Ooh, got him there. Brooklyn 3, target destroyed. That was a good hit. He has a radiator leak. Sounds like uh, they're doing pretty good work over there by the target. Is this thing going down? Or is he just doing evasive maneuvers? I really can't tell. I think he's going down. Yep. Splash two. Climb back up and head to the east. Regroup with the target completely. Or uh, regroup with the bombers, I should say. Okay. Some flak. Apparently there's more fighters to the south. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, we'll see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find my fighter friends here okay so I think regrouped with the bombers there's the bombers right there I saw two of my friends my p51 friends that were up here it's like they're engaging there's a whole bunch of stuff going on I'm really not sure where it's at okay there's some flak right there oh there's a furball all right, let's see what's going on. Wow, look at that. It's impressive. It's all in the sun, unfortunately for us. My eyes. All right, let's see. Okay, they're coming down fast. Looks like that's a P-51 barreling towards uh, another 109. Wow, they are going fast. That poor 109. Jeez. They are zipping. Apparently there's more fighters that uh, another group has encountered. That looks like this one, uh, what is this? I can't make it out. Was it a Focke Wolf or is it? Yeah, it's a 109. Okay, looks like they've all broke off. My turn. Alright, come here, bud. Got him. Oh man, and my recording stops. What a shame. And splash three. Well, nothing of interest really happened after that last engagement. As you can see, I am regrouped with my flight. I believe this is the airfield here where we'll be dropping our A-20s off as well. Uh, B-90. And we're going to take a look at the map. 
it's this northernmost waypoint. And then we'll be uh, heading south and landing at good old Y29. Um, that's just a brief update on the situation. Overall, not a not a bad sortie at all. I did play along with that first 109 for quite a while, but after that, I got the hang of being back in the P51 again, I think, and uh, my gunnery improved. <laughs> all right, mission objective completed, so we can go ahead and return to Y29. Looks like my flight is turning towards Y29 now. Uh, I think the A20s are going to go ahead and land there. So, I'll go ahead and fly to Y29 and I'll get back to you guys when we're on final approach. Okay, there's Y29 off to our uh, 2 o'clock there. So, we're going to go ahead and start slowing our crate down. We're currently going uh, just over 200 miles per hour. It looks like 220. Go ahead and start killing off airspeed. Going to turn on the final. Go. Looking good, looking good. All right, down to 180, gear down. All right, we can go ahead and open my canopy now as well. I do like landing with the canopy open, I realize, so I'm gonna start doing that more often. And go ahead and give her a little bit of throttle so we don't just fall out of the sky here. Currently at 150 miles per hour. Give a little bit of rudder so we can line up on the runway just fine here. The worst part about landing is honestly it's kind of hard to see in front of you in this plane. Once you've lined up on final your nose kind of obscures where you're going. Alright, got the flare. Lights on. All right, everything looks good. Bring down flaps a bit more. another bounce, damn. Oh well. Not bad. A few bounces. You know what sucks? That one sortie where nothing happened, I actually came in and uh, had a really good landing uh, with very little bounces. <laughs> of course, whenever I decide to uh, record, that happens. But the planes here in... Uh, perfect condition no bullet holes no nothing i bought brought bucket of bolts to back in pristine shape okay so here we are also i was experimenting with the uh, different career speeds and i think i've settled on medium because i did rapid for one of these i don't remember and it was extremely rapid <laughs> like a whole bunch of days passed and uh medium it looks like just every other day you fly a sortie so that'll That'll be fine, because we still have, oh my goodness, quite a long time to go. We have we have a lot of days here, uh, assuming we don't die. So, uh, overall, this sortie was a resounding success. Nobody died, which is wonderful. I'm very happy to see that. There's a ground troops cover. Let's see how they do. Hopefully, all of them get back A-OK. -okay. This is a first, I feel like, <laughs> having a sortie where uh, none of my AI wingmen die. Let's see, hopefully no one dies on this ground troops mission, and no, and they actually had some success. They shot down two enemy aircraft, so two heavy planes. Huh. I wonder what heavy planes they encountered. Maybe uh, JU-88s? I don't know. Interesting. That's very interesting. Because the 262 is a medium plane under this category. Huh. Well, I w this is why I wish it would tell you um what what the enemy planes are that you shot down like in rise of flight like you could go back and see everything you shot down but unfortunately you cannot and uh oh boy let's go to we've destroyed 116 planes holy cow 
And Justin Hall here has destroyed 42 enemy machines. Six uh, vehicles, two heavy weapons, and uh, that's it. Ten hours of flight time. So we've been in the air quite a lot, but still rather low compared to a lot of these other guys. Okay, well, pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's going to go ahead and end this here episode. Thank you all for watching, as always. And I will see you guys on the next one.